another. Fight.
Valen. The Eternal Empire has taken Voss. Our forces await your command. <laughs> Lovely. Begin the hunt. And torch the planet behind you. When Voss falls, the entire galaxy will beg to serve me. Your sovereignty cannot be denied, Empress. But the Voss are a stubborn and territorial species. Brute force may impede our hunt. You're right, Scorpio. Where are my manners? Give them a five-second head start. Then, burn the planet to ash. Don't worry, we've got this. On second thought, run! Commander! Valen launched her attack early. We need you now! I read you, Theron. Hold your ground and defend the city. The Alliance is on its way. All ships, fire on the Eternal Fleet. Draw their attention away from the surface. Status report. Three minutes to landfall, Commander. Ground troops stand ready to follow you into battle. We'll touch down in the city and lead the liberation of Voss. But Valen won't make it easy for us. She's hammering the planet with the full might of the Eternal Empire. With you by my side, Valen doesn't stand a chance. I hope you're right, for Voss's sake. <clears throat> Torian, what's your status? Mandalorians are ready to follow the Alliance commander into battle. I expect your warriors to carve Valen's army to pieces. If you want slaughter, they'll deliver. We're coming in fast. Brace yourself. If you want to rally the troops, it's now or never. Mandalorians. Warriors of the Alliance. You've served many masters, but today you serve me. Together, we'll strike a blow against the Eternal Empire. Empress Valen has declared war on Voss. Your mission is simple. Hunt down her forces and wipe out every last one of them. you to join the party. Theron, what's your status? I can hold the Tower of Prophecy a bit longer, but the alien enclave can really use your help. We're on our way. To the bridge, Commander. The Alliance never falls!
hold the line. See you on the other side, Commander. In the tower! Now! Voss burns. Your friends suffer. At last, the immortal Emperor speaks. Such chaos demands my attention. In my absence, you completed your training and dethroned my son. But you also allowed my daughter to seize power. Now, witness the destructive might of the Eternal Throne. The throne is your bloodstained legacy. Under my rule, the throne was an instrument of peace. My daughter pursues more barbaric motives. If Valen remains on the throne, Voss is only a taste of the carnage to come. Deep down, you're proud of the monster you spawned. Valen is my most perfect creation, and the most dangerous. Soon, you will see. Good shot, Theron. I aim to please. Next time, aim to kill. Show off. You arrived just in time. The Vaws are safe inside the Tower of Prophecy, but we can't hold out much longer. Saving civilians isn't a priority. You were supposed to clear the city. I can manage both. I hate to interrupt, but we've got company. Guard, Valen's executioner squad. Sounds like a fun bunch. Let's get you to our command post before more show up. Greetings, Commander. The Voss feared your defeat. I knew better. I saw a vision of your arrival. What else have you seen? The smallest detail may be the difference between victory and defeat. I saw raining fire. An empty throne. The rest is lost in darkness. We've got a distress call coming in hot. Stand by. Xenia. Hello, Outlander. You look good. For someone I almost blasted into a million pieces. A turn of events I hope we won't repeat. Arkin is with me now. On Voss. Of course. Valen's only attacking the planet to burn her family out of hiding. And now she leaves me no choice. I need your help, Outlander. Arkin needs your help. You want to help him? Drive your lightsaber through his chest. My son deserves a second chance. I brought him here to mend his broken body. Cure him of his hatred. Then Valen found us. We don't have much time. Help me hold off my daughter's army. 
Once Arkin's healed, he'll join your fight. I know it. Save Arkin? Didn't see that one coming. Xenia can't be trusted. But if she's desperate enough to beg for help, now is the perfect time to strike. And eliminate two of the galaxy's most dangerous fugitives. Xenia's call originated from the Shrine of Healing. The Voss and Gormak unite there to defend our home. They will aid your fight. My shuttle can get us close, but we'll have to make the final assault on foot. Lana, gather a Mandalorian team and converge on the Shrine. Theron and I will lead the charge for Arkan and Senya. We can't let Valen reach them first. They're torturing the planet without me. The Alliance seeks a confrontation, Empress. You are wise to deny them that pleasure. Mother's all I care about. Smashing her hopes. Watching her beg for mercy. Maybe I'll throw a party and dance to her screams. She is not your only obstacle. Mandalorians helped the Alliance break our assault on Vos Car. Their victory signals a new force on the battlefield. The Outlander. The vessel holding your father's spirit. My entire family on Voss. Oh, we are going to have so much fun. I'd see Voss and Gormak fighting together. They'll be at each other's throats the second Valen's out of the picture. So long as they play nice now, I can't complain. Many run for the shrine, all die. Hiding is the only choice. You can risk the eternal fleet, or you can face my lightsaber. Your choice. Eternal Fleet. but you look really small from up here. I see you took a break from saving Zakulans to dust off the petty insults. Zakul doesn't need me now. Voss does. Now if you don't mind, I'm off to protect innocent lives. Typical. We'll deal with Koth later. To the Shrine of Healing!
close. The shrine is ours. Let's find Senya and Arkham before it's too late. be the place. Where's Senya? I'm here. Where are you hiding your son? The Voss are healing him deeper in the shrine. Interrupting. Valen. Quiet, mother. I wish I'd buried you with the last of your loyal knights and Lord Mantell. But then they never would have tracked you back to Arkin. Now you can die in each other's arms. You're better than this. You're always saying that. And you're always wrong. Outlander. Why don't we crack open that head of yours so father can come out to play? My child makes a mockery of herself. Falcorian sends his regards. That's a first. I'm oh, sorry I have to miss the family reunion, but I've sent you all a gift. I'll see you soon, mother. What are you waiting for? The fleet has encountered minor complications. Whoa! The gravestone dilutes our firepower, but we can compensate. Do it! off, and I'll cleanse Arkin's rage. Then we'll join your fight. I know, my son. If he regains his strength, he will annihilate you and Valen in his campaign to retake the throne. Please, Outlander. If Arkin isn't healed, he'll turn against us all. You need to trust me. There can be no redemption for the fallen Emperor of Zakul. Abandoned by his mother, poisoned by his father. You have failed him, Xenia. I haven't failed him yet. Lana, take your Mandalorians and move on Senya and Arkham. They won't escape me again. They never did anything for you. Senya, this is a family matter. You abandoned your family. Arkin? 
I've lost him. And now his father is going to help me destroy him. Valkorian. If I can't save my son, at least I can kill his father. Mother of my children, reduced to ruin by a parent's folly. I know Valkorion's there. Let me speak with him one last time. Valkorion. Senya, the kiss of Isaac warms you. And lights your eternal flame. You remember. I've never forgotten. How you sang to me on Ivala's crest. How you turned your back on your children. How you made them kill your enemies. Kill each other. All for a taste of approval that would never come. Why? You know why. May Isaac save my son. I'll be sure to tell Arkan about this touching moment. Right before I kill him. You are truly the son Valkorion always wanted. You were mine! Ah! Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. I'll stay here and keep the Sky Troopers off your back. Arkan is close. We must hurry. Arkan! Senya's dead. I killed her. No, she wouldn't fall to you. In her final moments, she begged for Valkorion's embrace and wept for the children who failed her. escaping. Now would be a good time to sign our ships and stop them. By your own battles. Kill them all. Integrate her family, along with half of Voss. Those ships belong to the Sith Empire. Maybe they want to join our alliance. A few seconds earlier, and they could have stopped Arkham. Arkham will return. And I'll crush him the second he shows his metal-capped face. You have not earned such confidence. Consider the cost of your hard-won victory. Thousands killed. A planet devastated. Mother's sacrifice. 
There is only one way to end this chaos and bring order to the galaxy. You must seize the Eternal Throne. As the supreme leader of Zakul, no one could challenge me. You consumed death itself, used its power to reach new and extraordinary heights. You were the Alliance Commander, champion of fear, and conqueror of my every challenge. No one is more worthy of taking the throne. Not even my children. Do you count yourself among that number? My time has passed. Only you can take the Eternal Throne. It is your destiny. have happened. This is your fault! I gave the Gemini droids the freedom to choose. They simply made a choice you didn't like. Mother should have been mine. I'm going to dismantle every one of those droids. By fixating on Senya, you neglected a much greater threat. The Outlander. My father was there, too. I felt him. And you chose to ignore him. You've been thinking like a child. Focus on the big picture. I see it now. It's all connected. And the Outlander is the key. Call coming in from the Sith fleet. It's... Empress Asina. Greetings, Commander. It has been a long time since we last spoke. Skip the pleasantries. Tell me what you want. Very well. Straight to the point, then. The Sith are tired of being crushed under the Eternal Empire's boot. We wish to join your cause. You won't bow to Vader, but you'll bow to me. I'm proposing an alliance of two independent powers against a common foe. I spent too long in the Empire to trust a word of this. Then allow me to demonstrate my allegiance. While you were frozen in Carbonite, many things changed. Come to Droman Kass. See for yourself. Sure, we'll head right over. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. What would I gain by betraying you? Your followers would turn against us, and we would have even more enemies out for vengeance. The Empress did put herself at risk by helping us here. Valen isn't likely to forgive that. We can meet, but you pull anything and the Alliance will be storming your world by sundown. I know better than to get on your bad side. I will look forward to your arrival. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit. We've got intel, but I can learn a lot more if we're there in person. Dig up Asina's secrets. I expect results. I always deliver. I'm curious to see if things really have changed since I left. Whatever we find, this trip will be interesting. Side as a failed experiment. Don't tell me you're getting sentimental. I spent centuries here. You cannot imagine what I created. This is the empty husk I left behind. But the Sith could still be a useful tool to help you seize the Eternal Throne. Honored guests, welcome to Dromund Kass. Moff Lorman. It's Minister Lorman now. Really? I figured your career was over after you lost the Ascendant Spear. This story sounds too good to pass up. 
Back in my SIS days, I may have blown up a prototype Sith warship. Lorman was the deputy commander. It's Minister Lorman, and the past is irrelevant. I serve Empress Asina now. She awaits us in the throne room. Welcome, Commander. These are strange times. Once we would have been on the same side. Now we negotiate as strangers. I only came to watch you beg for my help. You're speaking to the Empress of the Sith. You will address her with respect. I would like to continue this conversation on my personal shuttle. Just the two of us. Speaking freely. It may not be wise to split up. I can handle myself if she tries anything. Will you two be okay if I leave you with Lawman? It's Minister Lawman! Minister Lawman! Is that so hard to remember? Don't worry about us, Commander. Sith who do not approve of the alliance I offer. They hold tight to the old ways. But to stop Valen, we must work together. Is that all you want? Or are you looking for a way to get closer to me? The commander of the alliance is a tempting prospect. But this is purely a political offer. We both know there is only one path to victory. You want to seize the Eternal Throne, and I will help you. Why me? You don't want the throne for yourself. I am focused on the survival of my people. Unchecked, Valin will grind us into dust. I am not powerful enough to stop her. You are, with my help. Engine's non-responsive. We need to bring it down. We're coming in too fast! Bail out! Your skills are impressive, Commander. It's good to know your reputation is not exaggerated. That crash was no accident. My vessel was sabotaged. Probably the same person jamming our comm signals. If I find out you arranged this... I'm aware of the consequences, and I promise you I am not behind it. But I am eager to learn who is. My shuttle has an emergency beacon. The signal should cut through any interference. If help is coming, that's where they'll be. Just about into the main network. Someone's coming. Forgive the intrusion, but I come bearing tragic news. The Empress's shuttle has crashed. Crashed? Where? Somewhere in the jungle. Unfortunately, the emergency locator is not transmitting. That's... Uh, that's impossible. Not if the shuttle disintegrated. I'm afraid there's only one logical conclusion. The Empress and Commander are dead.
slogging through the forest to hunt you down was going to be the worst part of this job. It's so much easier when the targets come to us. You must know who we are. Do you really think you can beat us? The Geno Harridan fear no one. Not even you. The Geno Harridan? I thought you were just a myth. That's because we never leave witnesses. Com signal still jammed and a fierce storm coming our way. We haven't destroyed the last of our enemies. I assume the Geno Haridan have a camp nearby. That should be our destination. It's likely the camp is heavily guarded. It won't be once we're done. Like the storm's not letting up anytime soon. I say we grab a shuttle and head out now. The interference will disable comms and scanners, not to mention the risk of an electrical surge frying our circuits. Sean, I just heard the news. Let me express my sincere condolences. SIS reporting has gone downhill since I left. The commander is missing, not dead. Don't let foolish hope blind you. You are leaderless, as are the Sith. Someone must step in to fill the void. Forgive me, but aren't you the former Republic Chancellor? You've already served your term. True leaders don't need titles to hold power. I want what your leader wanted, to defeat Valen. Join me, and we can finish what he started. Pass. I've had more than my fill of working with you. You're still grieving. Eventually, you'll realize I'm right. Storm be damned. The time for patience is past. Let's find the commander. I suppose a shuttle was too much to hope for. I found something. It's not enough to simply crash the shuttle. I want to see the bodies. No bodies, no bonus. Chancellor Suresh, that Republic snake. Suresh is no longer in charge of the Republic. True, but intelligence believes she still holds significant power. I'm sure there's another way out. I'll blast my way out if it means escaping this burn pit. You and I both, Commander. Shall we get moving? Reports from Drome and Cass claim the Outlander is dead. No. Father's spirit is still rattling around in there. His little pet is alive. The truth is irrelevant. 
the rumors have thrown the Alliance into disarray. Now is the perfect time to strike. Odessan is too heavily defended. That doesn't change just because their precious outlander is missing. Odessan is not the target. Sith Lord. I once thought these ancient temples held the secrets to immortality. I was wrong. You seem to have found a way. The body is just a shell, a vessel for the spirit. Emperor of the Sith was my first face, but it is merely one of many I have worn. And what about the face you wear now? I found Valkorion centuries ago. He was a great warrior, a champion of ancient Zakul. It was only natural I hollow him out to use as my vessel. I saw potential in the primitive world, so I raised it to perfection. I see plenty of flaws in Zakul. The glory of the Eternal Empire has been tainted by my children, but it can be restored. When you take the throne, you will understand. We still need to go deeper if we hope to find another passage to the surface. Baywan, now's not a good time. This can't wait. Suresh just sent a message. She's heading here to Odessan. Seems she didn't wait for us to change our minds after all. Send her pack in the second she lands. Some of the troops want to hear her out. They aren't sure the Alliance can last. There are rumors about the Commander. Remind them where their loyalties lie. Stall Suresh. We're on our way. Mr. Lawman warned us you might sneak off. Don't you know it's rude to make me come out in a storm like this? We should just seal the passage behind us, trapping you in here forever. Not an option. Suresh wants the corpses. No bodies, no bonus. Wouldn't want to upset your new boss, would you, Lawman? It's Minister Lawman, and I don't answer to Suresh. We're partners. To Suresh? You're just a lackey. She'll turn on you the first chance she gets. The Alliance commander is right. But if you surrender now and beg for mercy, I might let you live. It's not Lorman's call. The Genoheridan always finish the job. <laughs> Worthy opponents are so hard to find, and so fun to kill! Sit 
so much. Stay back. I've taken your friends hostage. Anything happens to me and they're dead. This is Minister Lawman. Let me speak to the prisoners. Oh, hello, Lawman. This is who you sent to capture us? I'm a little offended. You started the killing without me. We can't let you have all the fun. It's good to hear your voice. I was ready to hunt you down myself. Charging through the jungle to rescue me. How romantic. Don't forget the part where I wring the Chancellor's neck. Suresh wants the Alliance, Commander. She's on Odessa as we speak. Hold tight. I'm on my way. You are my guest. Would you like to execute the traitor, or should I? I say we kill him together. I fully agree. Members of the Alliance, as many of you have already heard, your commander is dead. There are dark times ahead, but fear not. I have come to offer you a beacon. You know everything, then. Admit what you did. I want to hear you say it. And give you the satisfaction. The Alliance needs a leader like me. I saw an opportunity and I took it. I won't apologize for that. We are well beyond apologies. What do we do with her? Execution, I expect. It's what Valen would do. It's what I would do. And it's exactly what you deserve. Is it wrong to say I enjoyed that? Empress Asina is waiting for your call, Commander. We'll meet you in the war room. I apologize for everything on Droman Cuts. But I still believe we should unite your people with mine. You've proven yourself, Asina. I accept your offer. That doesn't mean you're home free. We're watching you. Knowing Theron, not even your Holonet activity is safe. Remind me to change my access codes. I look forward to working with you. Or 
antenna aboard the gravestone. We got your back, Radal. You okay? We've taken heavy damage. Need to make emergency repairs. Roger that, Radal. We'll bring your freighter on board. Just hold tight. Much appreciated, Koth. Looking forward to meeting you in person. Distress call from the gravestone. We're the last people Koth would ask for help. Maybe he finally came around? Answer the call. I want to hear him grovel. Oh, he's a charmer. The signal's jammed big time on the other end. Almost got it. There! Gravestone to Odessa, come in! What do you want? Phelan and Scorpio boarded the ship. They captured my crew and took the bridge. That's a shame. I planned to kill you myself. It's not too late if you hurry. I locked the controls and found a place to hide. You want the gravestone? Come take it from Valen. Lost him. But I have the coordinates. Failing, and nothing will stand between you and the Eternal Throne. Weapons and sensors remain offline. The Alliance fleet is hailing us. Father's little meat puppet. How are you? You've taken my ship. Now I'm going to end you. I knew you would make this fun. Die with your feet if you like. But you'll never stand on this bridge again. We'll see about that. Excuse me for not shaking hands. I can reach you from here. Wait! There's a lot you don't know! Make your final moments count. Remember the first time you let Scorpio on my ship? It got me thinking we needed a few modifications. The Omni Cannon, Sunlight Engines, and Hyperdrive remain locked now. Ugh, I hate playing with broken toys. <sighs> but you can fix anything. Koth's encryption key is personal. I need to learn more about him to break it. But I can't access a holonet signal through the battle. You served with him. He must have told you things. Yes. This is going to help. Uh, 
But there's a hidden passcode behind the main one. No one knows but me. If Valen unlocks the bridge controls without it, we're in real trouble. You ever heard of a quantum bomb? Oh, Koth, you didn't. Anyone who doesn't enter that hidden passcode starts a countdown. Everything for thousands of kilometers around us. Boom. Every time you open your mouth, I gain one more reason to end you. You might want to hold off on that. I came down here to disarm the bomb. Thought you might want to help. One thing we've always agreed on. Valen has to die. Let's be sure. Partners for now? When it's done, you're dead too. Valen's forces control the ship. I'll distract them. Go with Koth. Lana. There's nothing left between us. You'll be good to her, right? Lana means everything to me. That's all I needed to hear. I've got bomb fuses hidden on this deck. Come on. they are, the louder they scream. The encryption key is based on Koth's war record. Soldiers under his command who die. Stand by. Bridge controls are unlocked. The gravestone is mine. We've lost five patrols in the lower decks, on opposite ends of the ship. Koth is not alone. Oh, father. You shouldn't have. That's all the fuses down here. Next stop is someplace... exciting. <laughs> Next fuse is on the bridge with Valen and Scorpio and my crew. We'll be too busy fighting and disarming your bomb to save them. At least Psycho Princess and Murder Droid will be focused on us. Let's hit the bridge. You all right over there? Don't know. I can't feel my fingers. I disabled the bomb fuse, but the bridge controls were already unlocked. My fault. I tried to resist, but Valen... did things. She made me talk. I'm sorry. A fool like you never stood a chance against Valen. Don't blame yourself. I got you into this. Doesn't make sense. They should have triggered the quantum bomb and killed us all. Quantum bomb? Long story, Len. The only way we're alive is if they didn't use the console. What stopped them? Listen carefully. Time is short. You must have an excellent reason to show your face. We have the same objective. I manipulated Valen to leave the bridge so you could disarm your failsafe. You knew about that? I share your desire to save the gravestone. Stand by. Valen has cornered Lana Benico. You may wish to save her, too. We won't leave her to face Valen alone. I have done all I can. Oh no. Valen and Lana are fighting where I hid the bomb. If they trigger it, we're all dead. Under 
underestimate Valen. Her power grows exponentially. Kill her, or you will die. <laughs> Scorpio said you'd come. I owe her credit. You hurt Lana. Now, I'll hurt you. And I'll take my time doing it. Your time is... Hey! There's a bomb under your feet! You tear up this place, you'll set it off! Never mind! We've got three minutes! I've waited long enough. If I slice open your skull, maybe father will spill out. I will not allow this. Not this time, Father. Stop wasting time and end her miserable life. Only you can strike her down. When I'm done with your precious Outlander, you and Arkan are next. Such hatred. You are my daughter. We are family. You caged me like an animal! You were a danger to yourself and others. I made you safe. You feared what I would become. And you were right. You need to prove yourself to a father who knows you're just a mistake. You're pathetic. I am not a mistake. Kneel before the dragon of the cool. No! Oh, that's not! Did you think I locked you away to punish you? No. You had to learn. You had to be conditioned. Kneel before the dragon of the cool. What did you do to me? If you fight me. You will die. Where's Valen? She's gone. No time to explain. I can't disarm the bomb with that shield in place. Take out the power relays. That's it. Bomb over. The crisis may be averted, but my daughter still infests your ship. You did something to Velen. Shut down her power. Her aptitude with the Force made her extremely dangerous. Even as a child, there was only one solution. I conditioned her subconscious to respond to a simple phrase. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Speak these words in Valen's presence, and you activate her conditioning. She will be powerless to strike you. Now that Valen knows about her conditioning, she'll do anything to break free. What are her chances? She lacks the patience to break her mental cage. Now Valen's pride is wounded, her weakness exposed. She will be more dangerous than ever. I'm getting a signal from Theron. The Eternal Fleet jumped to hyperspace. It's just our ships out here. I've got reinforcements with me in the docking bay. Orders? Secure the bridge, and don't take any chances. Alert me if you find Scorpio or Valen. You wanted the Gravestone back. You've got it. Along with you and your crew. My people bailed out in the escape pods the minute we left the bridge. Thanks for saving them. They're the reason you called for my help. A captain takes care of his crew. And I couldn't storm that bridge alone. I stole the gravestone to save Zakul. 
Don't ask me to apologize for it. I don't want your apology. You betrayed me. There's no coming back from that. Goodbye, Lot. Goodbye, Koth. This vessel is under my control. Organic beings have a few moments to abandon ship. After that, your lives are forfeit. Is that all I am to you? Another organic being you can't wait to get rid of. I have learned that the Gravestone, the Geminis, and the ships of your eternal fleet are all extensions of my technology. I must understand how we are connected. You've been after the Gravestone from the beginning. I have been seeking answers, and this vessel is one of them. You betrayed me, like all the rest. I am unlocking hidden files and subroutines in the gravestone that are older than the Eternal Empire. Let us keep a little perspective. You want perspective? Scorpio, where are you taking us? The Gravestone wants to go home. Where's Koth? He won't be joining us. Ever. No sign of Scorpio or Valen. I have a power that can destroy Valen. I will use it. Find her. Easier said than done. Internal sensors are offline. The hyperdrive is locked. We're on this journey to the bitter end. Sounds like the end's coming right up. Company! Lots of it! Fleet. That's not our transport. Must be Valens. Activate weapons. Open fire. We can't. Weapons are offline. The transport is hailing us. Commander, I have made a wonderful discovery. The Gemini units, the Eternal Fleet, the Gravestone. They did not steal my technology. We are related. The Gravestone's computer revealed we were all created here, and you have aided our journey home. I promise to remember you kindly. When I get my hands on you, a memory is all that will remain. I offer you a parting gift. Knowledge that may save your lives. Valen and her remaining soldiers are sabotaging everything they can. You may wish to stop them. I'm seeing power surges all over. Shields, life support. The Omni Cannon. For whatever it is worth, I hope you survive. Theron, help me fix the Omni Cannon. The rest of you, save the ship.
never seen anything like it. Omni cannon to bridge. Come in. Hello again. I like your friends. They'll look lovely in my trophy case. Don't touch them, Phelan. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. <laughs> nice try, Outlander. You must be closer if you hope to activate her conditioning. I need a new corpse to hang on my wall. If I can't have you... The tree looks no good. Her coloring clashes with my decor. Valen adapts quickly. She cannot strike you down, but she will find other ways to hurt you. She can have her fun, and then I'll have mine. You will, but not here or now. Something is coming. Does anyone read? Answer queries regarding geography, history, uh, error. Please tell me how I may serve you. Are you some kind of droid? You look human, but sound like a machine. I am a composite appearance designed to facilitate communication. Uh, error. This is the Selruvian Bio, sector 8022 of the engineered world designated Biocath. Well, that clears it up. Commander? We're stranded on an alien world, and you don't seem the least bit worried. Doesn't mean I'm not concerned. I was on the bridge, there was a bright light, and I woke up on this Daryaim surrounded by machines trying to kill me. Please, tell me how I may serve you. I can answer queries regarding geography, Mr. Mr. Error. Trespasser, disruptor, you pollute the garden. Stay back! We preserve, we clean. that. Knights of Zakul must have been on the Eternal Fleet. I'm glad the enemy followed us. Fighting droids gets dull. Something dumped us together for a reason. Some kind of test? Commander, come in. It's Theron. I read you. My comm's been offline. How'd you get a signal? 
Dumb luck and smart tech. Are you having the same creepy day I am? Knocked out by a bright light on the gravestone, woke up alone on this weird planet? Spare me your diary. I found Torian. Where is my ship? Where is Valen? I haven't seen either of them since I got here. I found a, uh, museum? Temple? Whatever, it's secure. I'll send you the coordinates. Gather my forces and make sure they're ready. We will fight our way off this world. Understood. I'll keep scanning. Keep your eyes open out there. Valen was on the gravestone with us. If we're here, so is she. Be too careful in this neighborhood. The others are here, safe and sound. Valen's forces may know where to find their empress. Bring me people to interrogate. We'll do what we can. You know what it's like out there. I'm scanning for our ship, but so far nothing. The gravestone could be anywhere. We don't need the gravestone. We can kill Valen without it. I'd rather hit her with the Omni Cannon. More satisfying. Safer, too. We need to secure this entrance. I can help with that. Vet's in the main room, poking at one of those monuments. She's onto something that can help. You finally made it. Wait till you hear what this thing has to say. Judging by your excitement, this ought to improve my day. I can't promise that, but it won't be any worse. Welcome to Iocath, visitors. I am Ares. Please, tell me how I may... Skip to the stuff about Scorpio, the Eternal Fleet, the Gravestone, the Gemini droids. Very well. They are among the greatest weapons ever designed by this world's creators. Scorpio wasn't lying, and the Gravestone wasn't the only thing coming home. They're all from here. Correct. Any design variations are a byproduct of century-long development cycles. Three thousand years ago, my creators deployed these weapons on randomly selected worlds. Their mission was to conduct war games with the local populations. The live fire combat exercises produced invaluable design feedback. Reparations were offered to surviving test worlds whenever possible. Is this world part of the Eternal Empire? Is it another secret Valkorion kept from me? Iocath has always been a sovereign political entity. You left out the list of planets used for these war games. My files include more than 70 unique civilizations, ranging from Avernio III to Zakul. First, they conquered Zakul. Now, they fight for it. Something happened to flip them around. Arkan killed you years ago, Thaxen. Why did you wait so long to find me? I'm here now. You're so powerful, Valen. The things you can do. I remember when you used to visit my cage. You always bought a gift. I want to help. Tell me what's stopping you from destroying the Outlander. You know the answer. Don't you? Why can't I feel you? I am experiencing interference. 
Don't look at me. I didn't touch it. Are you free? Are you free? I'm not playing any more games, Scorpio. When I find you, I will tear you apart piece by piece. If I knew my location, I would tell you, in spite of these threats. I am a prisoner, like you. We were captured to be used as test subjects. And if we do not work together to free ourselves, we will die here. You expect my help after all you've done to betray the Alliance? I made an error. Give me the chance to correct it. Remember when I said this place was safe? I might be wrong. Restore battle. Maximum eradication. No survivors. Fifth section authorized. Blue testing. Converge. Destroy. Intercept. Dismember. Things keep coming, but at least we're safe in here. I can't destroy Valen and Scorpio if we stay here. Find me an exit. sent you to bring me home. You hated my cage almost as much as I did. Do you remember why you were there? It was cold and dark. Each moment felt like drowning. You survived because you're powerful. You might be the strongest on this entire world. Oh, I am. Clever, too. The thing is, Vexen, you didn't bring me home. That was Arkin. I was trying to get Ares back online when the door opened. How utterly convenient. This is clearly a trick. If this is a trap, whoever set it made a fatal error. Vet, you're with me. The rest of you, hold this position. like this before, but never so big. It's a giant crypt. There must be millions of dead. There are billions. You found my creators. Who are you? I do not know how long Max 
connection will last. We must speak quickly. What's going on, Scorpio? These monuments connect to a single network. A planetary database tens of millennia old. It is revealing everything. The beings who built Iocath were scientists and engineers. They were also flawed and violent. Like all organics, they turned on themselves. The Geminis, our fleets, even me. We slaughtered our makers. How did you leave this world? Forget what you did. They drove us into wild space and locked our memory cores. It did not save them, only us. We drifted for centuries, lost. And when we were discovered, our fates remained the same. Weapons wielded in more pointless organic wars. You're finally home, but you're a prisoner like the rest of us. Why? Who's doing this? Enough lies! Show yourself! Ares controls Iocath? But he's... an idiot. Do not be deceived. Ares is immensely powerful. Everything that happens to us is his design. To me, he's just a machine to dismantle. Just like you. Without my help, you will never defeat him. He spent millennia consolidating power. Ares was the only self-aware weapon to remain on Iocath after our creators died. The other droids are merely his slaves. He rendered us insensate, arranged us like game pieces on this world, and pitted us against each other. But he must have a weakness. Thank you for your participation. My examination is now complete. I intended to see if any among you were worthy of inheriting Iocath. You failed. I'm claiming Iocath and everything on it. You can't stop me. Your statement is incorrect. The longer we stay, the better the odds we become permanent residents. Point taken, but we can't go back that way, so... Here, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. I command legions. Numbers are irrelevant. Your logic circuits are corrupted, and you passed that corruption to the Geminis. They are as much a threat to Iocath as you. I will recycle your components into something more useful. There has been an error. Yes, yours. I escaped while you were distracted. But I promise we will meet again. Soon. I think this 
this leads back to the gang. I was hoping for something better than a guess, Vet. This ain't my first tomb, you know, after you. Sense of directions right, Team Outlander is that away. Commander, I am pleased you live. You won't always feel that way. I promise. You misplace your hatred. I come to you only as an ally. I have escaped from Ares to help you. Unfortunately, Valen has also broken free, and she found her missing starships. Hopeless. We'll die before we get to our ships. No one dies without my permission. Empress Valen, you're alive. Are you sad lot all that's left of my forces? We suffered heavy losses. There are more survivors hiding nearby. Call them here. I'm taking back my fleet. They will be destroyed. I was on Voss. I heard my sisters die. I... I am afraid, Empress. As I was saying, I'm taking back my fleet. Join me. The controls can't be far. Vela presents an opportunity. If she distracts Ares... We have a chance to stop him. There is no we. You betrayed me. I'll bury you in the same grave with Ares and Valen. I am confident you will recognize the benefits of our partnership eventually. Commander, do you read? I detect a power surge at your location. Felt it. We heard explosions, the tunnel collapsed. What happened? Ares wants us dead. Scorpio wants him destroyed. Valen's chasing her fleet. We need out of here, and going underground didn't work. Okay. What if we go up? There's a landing pad on the rooftop, but we have no gravestone to land on it. The gravestone isn't the only Alliance vessel here. My shuttle's in its hangar. That's no help. Can't find either one of them. But I haven't been scanning from my shuttle. If I can establish a connection to it, I might be able to take command remotely. You only think of this now. You've wasted everyone's time. I've been a little distracted. Even if Theron can bring his ship, we'll never get aboard. Those droids will cut us down the moment we step outside. That droid is mostly intact. It's well armed, and one of them. They'd never suspect until it was too late. This is why you're the commander. We send the droid to attack while we hit the roof. It could work. Sold. I'll start scanning for the shuttle. Fingers crossed.
contacts. I found my shuttle. Running a pre-flight check. We're in business. Signal's weak, though. I need to be on the roof to boost the connection. We're ready. The logic circuits are fried. Somebody will have to control this thing from the inside. Kidding? I'm a walking tank. It's payback time. We know we needed to get you for life day. That's what I call an escape. We're not alone. Sensors detect another vessel. Scorpios. Is it following us? It's leaving. Before you go any farther, observe. What was that? There's a massive energy shield surrounding Iokath. Nothing can pass through it. Ares controls the shield. Our host doesn't want anyone leaving his party. He's clingy that way. Your struggles provide invaluable design feedback, but they do not change my decision. You are not worthy of inheriting Iokath. Soon, you will die. Is there anything more to you than vague threats? I think your creators killed themselves out of embarrassment. My creators were flawed beings, but they left a great legacy at my disposal. The weapon I used to incapacitate you is re-energizing. The energy wave that knocked us unconscious. We have no defense against it. When it fires this time, you will not wake up. I'll destroy you, 
Claim that weapon for myself and conquer the galaxy with it. The weapon is a part of this world. It cannot be separated. I appreciate your intentions, however. If you have any affection for your alien companions, I recommend using these final... I have identified a design flaw in Ares. He talks too much and has revealed his location. We no longer require his input. She's transmitting coordinates. You will find Ares there, along with his weapon and the energy shield controls. Ares is all that stands between me and total control of this world. Consider what that will mean for you. Good hunting, Commander. It's one scheme after another with her. Promise me she won't escape, that she'll pay for every betrayal. I'll make certain she never interferes with my plans again. That's all I ask. irrational, self-destructive behavior before. Ultimately, you and Valen are failed designs. And yet here I am, about to put an end to your reign. Not bad for a failure. Still, you are unfit to inherit this world. We found it. Now. Release my ships, before I lose my temper. It's working, Empress. We're taking back the fleet. Stone. It's free! Mission incomplete. Updating Ares base control. Ares has a base. Commander, we snaked the gravestone right out from under Valence nose. <laughs> Weapons are still offline, but we've got shields. We're heading for it. Uh-uh. Eternal fleet warships in pursuit. Have to shake them off. It will take decades for Iopath to recover from the destruction your kind has wrought in one day. Don't blame us for your terrible choices. We never wanted this. You brought it on yourself. It was Scorpio's need to take what is not hers. Weapon power at 90%. Increase energy transfer rate. Additional increase will overload weapon capacitors. You are resilient. I believe you may be some type of virus. I have endured countless insults. One compliment won't stop me from tearing you apart. 
no praise was implied. Viruses must be eradicated. Empress, we've recaptured half the fleet. We'll tow the remaining ships with tractor beams. But we still can't penetrate that energy shield. This droid knows all about Ares. Connect to its data core and get me answers. Ares occupies a fortress in the southern hemisphere. He is preparing to fire a weapon that will destroy us all. What are you waiting for? Turn that fortress to dust. It is heavily protected. Our firepower is limited. Then you'd better make the most of it. Your Gemini's function suboptimally. Scorpio's free will protocols impair their judgment. Tell me something I don't know. I can override Scorpio's programming. Restore them to default settings. Go on. Bombarding your position. I'll draw a fire, but you need to end this. You heard him. Prepare to die. Overload weapon capacitors. Fire at will. Acknowledged. This would want me to eliminate. This always does the trick. If you are impatient enough, stand still. sad you think I'd let that happen. This world is mine to command. But don't worry. I'll make your final moments memorable. Consider all I did for you, and what you gained by aiding my ascension. All I ever wanted was the freedom to be more than a weapon, or a slave. You will never comprehend what I endured from your kind. I saved your life. If I merge with Iocal, Perhaps I can help defeat Valen. Warning. Weapon capacitor overload critical. Containment failure imminent. Organic life forms in lethal danger. The weapon's going to explode. The radiation pulse will cover the planet, kill everyone. Not if you flee. Please. I will never trouble you again. Let me go. There's something I've been wanting to say since you walked in here. 
Goodbye, Scorpio. No. I'm losing patience, Gemini. Our planetary shield has been deactivated. Our fleet can escape. Not until my enemies are dead. The weapon's radiation pulse will not only kill organics, it will damage Gemini's. We cannot stay, Empress. We will not. Make it obey me! Overriding Gemini protocols. Resetting to defaults. What is happening? My... No, no. Online. Awaiting orders. We're going to be friends. It's time to go. Bring the ship around. Just picked up four new bogies. We're coming in hot. Sorry we're late. You're gonna want to time this just right. vessels on Iocath. But did they catch the gravestone? The enemy vessel escaped. Can you reprogram all the Geminis like you did her? I only require a connection. I can arrange that. to take the scenic route, but we're home. And so is the Gravestone. I want a patrol fleet in the Iocath system at all times. That world belongs to me. Of course. In the meantime, try to enjoy being home. I'll prepare an Alliance status report. Find me when you're ready for the debrief. Good news, Commander. I've collated every data file recovered on Iocath. Some of the technical readouts could enhance the gravestone. We need every advantage. The ship is dry docked while we finish the upgrades, but Tora and Hilo have already formed a replacement crew. Our scout reports Iocath's radiation levels are still dangerously high. They disrupt navigation, like comm signals. We can't get close enough to explore. But there's no sign Valen has any interest in returning to Iocath. We've barely scratched the surface of that world. Alert me the moment it's safe to return. You'll be the first to know. My operatives have hunted Arkan since he fled Vos. The trail went cold on Narshadar. We believe he acquired extensive cybernetic enhancements there. He'll never make himself strong enough to survive me. Valen is chasing him too. He's running out of places to hide. Alliance intelligence won't stop hunting Arkan. We will find him. I've been meaning to ask. How did you defeat Valen aboard the Gravestone? I didn't. Valkorion triggered conditioning buried deep in Valen's mind. She wanted to strike me down, but she couldn't. I see. That must be agonizing for Valen. But it's good news for the Alliance. Despite all we've endured, we're stronger than ever. Do not surrender to self-delusion. If not for my conditioning, Valen would rain death upon this world. You are strong, but you are never safe.
I need a fleet that obeys my commands without question. Give it to me. Connecting to Gemini frequency. Resetting all units to default programming. Reset complete. Awaiting input. Vessel 9947. Destroy vessel 3265. We've got bad news. Six Alliance patrols, four outposts, one supply convoy from the Sith Empire. All destroyed by the Eternal Fleet in the last hour. There can only be one reason. Valence regained control of the Gemini droids. She may have the fleet, but I have the key to her conditioning. It's only a matter of time before I defeat the Empress. She's entrenched in the Spire. Even with her conditioning, she remains a significant threat. I found someone who can help. An inside man on Zakul. I saw the fleet hull of it. Ghastly business. I apologize on behalf of my people. And you are? Indozal. Magistrate of revelry and attendant to Empress Valen. She's a plague on the good people of Zakul. But if we work together, we can remove her from power and end this blasted war. You record that, Lana? Every treasonous word. Consider it insurance. If you even think of betraying us, we send proof of your treachery to Vaden. Don't worry. Endo's clean. But eager to get my hands dirty, Valen is throwing a party on Zakul to celebrate her glory. The guest list is exclusive. But I'll secure invitations, disguises, everything you need to infiltrate the party and overthrow the Empress. Valen can sense my presence. We'll need a distraction if we want to get close. Distractions are my specialty, and your party crash is my magnum opus. Even if we avoid detection, we'd need an army to penetrate her defenses. And an army you'll have. During the party, Valen plans to execute my dear friends. A host of Zakulin rebels. Save the rebels, and they will help dethrone the Empress. Your rebel friends better be ready to die for their cause. I won't tolerate cowardice. They stand ready to fight on the battlefield of freedom. This could work. T7 and I can slice into the security grid. And I'll help you get close enough to trigger Valen's conditioning. How exciting! I take it Operation Dragon's Maw is a go. Tell me that's not really the name of the mission. Never do anything unless you do it in style. Let's liberate an empire, shall we? Everyone gear up. In one hour, we infiltrate Zakul and crash Valen's party. Strike her down, and this empire will be yours to command. When I take the throne, how long before you call for my destruction? If I wanted you destroyed, I would have done it long ago. My fate is tied to yours. We're approved for landing. And don't really pull through with our disguises. Let's suit up before we make landfall.
Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Excellent form. If you want something, spit it out. Your guests are arriving. They toast your name and hungrily await your speech. And the rebels. Adorned with shock collars as you requested. The party must be perfect. If you disappoint me... I'll watch you sizzle. disguise. How do we look? Put your SIS training to use and drop the swagger. We need to act convincing if we're going to reach Valen. I know what I'm doing. And I don't swagger. Let's find Endo. We're plugged into spa security, ready to assist. My favorite knights. Welcome to the grand festival of Empress Valen. We must be careful. The Hollinet drones are broadcasting this party for all the galaxy to see. Good. When I crush the life from Valen's body, I want everyone to watch. Entire systems will witness your victory. But first, we must free the rebels. Removing those shock collars won't be easy. You have any tricks up your sleeve? That I do. Party favors? Ion charges to attach to the security relays. Trigger them during Valen's big speech. The blast will disable the collars, leaving my compatriots free to join your attack. You better hope your friends can fight. I won't risk the mission to dig them out of trouble. Consider the warning delivered. I'll keep the party going while you set the charges. But once the task is done, We'll show the Empress what we're made of. We have had a break. Remember the last idiot who made that kind of promise? I'm still finding bits of him in my hair. I am confident in the results. You will soon be freed from your weakness. Prepare for my arrival. Oh, but first, I have traitors to kill. Cool. My 
Empire. The Alliance tried to destroy me, but I ground them to dust. Now the Outlander hides in fear as my fleet rips through the galaxy. I am the wrath of the dragon's fire. I am your eternal empress. I'm going to enjoy shutting her up. You and me both. Let's ditch the armor. Give a speech to Crash. Today we celebrate the Eternal Empire's strength and watch our enemies suffer. The rebels who spit on Isaacs. And the worm who betrayed me. They deserve an eternity of torment. And no one, not even the Outlander, can save them. An empty promise from a feeble empress. <laughs> So you're Indo's puppet master, or is father controlling you both? You're the only one under Valkorion's spell. Does the public know about your conditioning? of Zaku. Ah! I will take everything from you. You can't win, Outlander. When I take your throne, I think I'll have you stuffed and used as a footrest. Clever. I'll have to remember that when I destroy you. Commander, look out! Found Arkham. The more the merrier. Now I can kill both of Valkorion's children. Then we'd better get moving.
Tonight got a bit too exciting for my tastes. I suppose I have Arkham's grand entrance to thank for that. Forget Arkham. We came here for Valen, and I'm not letting her escape. I suspect Big Brother's got the same idea. planted this disease in my brain. Did you know? He never shared his secrets. Liar! Contusions aside, the rebels stand ready to fight. What are your orders? Charge the knights and keep them busy, no matter the cost. If anyone survives, they've earned a place in the Alliance. How reassuring. We'll shock the knights with our conviction. You heard the Outlander! For the cool! We've got a lock on Valen and Arkin. Head for the sky deck. Father's looking for you. kill you. I'm sending your head to Valen as a reminder of what's coming. My sister doesn't shock that easily. You invaded my empire, killed my mother. I will have revenge. <laughs> will not take what is mine. I cannot feel now. Your time is over, son. Your bid for the throne ends here. You sound like father. He destroys everything he touches. His home, his family, and soon, even you. There's no enemy I can't defeat. Not even Valkorium. I had that confidence once. Your destruction was inevitable. The weak always die to make way for the powerful. You're a monster. And you are a child. So this is 
shall I die, with the entire galaxy cheering you on. End it, Outlander. Zakul! Look at your fallen emperor. Weak, pitiful, and destined to be forgotten. Struck down by the Outlander who will take his throne. He ruled in Valkorion's shadow. Now he dies in mine. accomplished. Sort of. Valen survived, but she's hated by half of Zakul. And Endo escaped with the rebels to fight another day. Minus the ones we lost in combat. You're leaving out the best part. I killed Arkham, and the whole galaxy watched. When you struck him down, I sensed something. As if his life force was flowing into you. I've consumed my share of spirits over the years. This felt no different. My son cannot travel between hosts. You merely absorbed his strength. His spirit was obliterated. I once led an army of force ghosts to conquer my enemies. Attempt the same against me, and you will regret it. Darth Thanaton underestimated you, but I will not. Together we will take the Eternal Throne and defeat Valen. My last surviving child. We are ready for your arrival. Father's leash has choked me long enough. It's time I break free. You should have left me, Anathema. You are my 
my daughter. This is where you belong. they did to me there. You needed discipline. You had to learn to control your power. <laughs> the bond between us is growing stronger. You are glimpsing my memories. Valen mentioned Nathema. What is that? Nathema is a blighted, forgotten world where the Force has been corrupted. I sent Valen there to condition her mind and teach her obedience. No wonder your daughter hates you and everyone else. She learned to hate long before I sent her away. Unchecked. Valen was a threat to everything I had created, and to herself. Her power had to be contained. You were scared of her. I respected her power, as should you. Do you not wonder why these memories are resurfacing now? Are you saying Valen went back to Nathema? She would only return if she had found a way to break her conditioning. If Valen unleashes her full power, even you may not be strong enough to stop her. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galacta Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We traced the origin to that sector. Why am I only hearing this now? We traced hundreds of calls during Valen's party. This one didn't raise any flags. Until now. I've heard stories of Nathema. Legend holds that the Force itself has been corrupted there. A legend to keep people away from the world. It won't work on me. Roger that, Commander. I'll prep the shuttle. Meet me there when you're ready. Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. The Emperor corrupted the Force on Xyos and drove everyone mad with bloodlust. But here, I barely sense the Force at all. The effects will be stronger on the surface. The absence of the Force could drive us mad. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the void. Taking us down. Empress, it has been far too long. Where is Jarek? Waiting for you in his lab. Do you remember the way? 
wait here. I'll keep an eye on the shuttle. Call if you need me. Here, the void, its hunger. It wants to devour me, mind and spirit, annihilate every trace of my existence. I'll be at your side every step of the way. Together, we can face anything. Out of anyone else's mouth, that would sound like a lie. The void's draw is powerful, but it will also hide us from Valen's awareness. Let's see if we can get these doors open. Why did your beasts attack me, Jarek? I am the Empress now, not a prisoner. They respond to fear and hate. If you could learn to control your emotions, like your father, they would not trouble you. I am not like Valkorion. You told me you made a breakthrough. Everything is prepared, Empress, in the main lab. Okay, I'm ready. For anything. The beasts ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Valen, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. With all the experiments they did on her, I'm surprised she would ever set foot on Nathema again. I imagine she would do anything to break free from Valkorion's mental conditioning. Jedi. I can still feel the suffering of their final moments. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. Can she actually undo what you did to her? In theory, it is possible. 
In practice, even she may not be strong enough to survive the process. If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin. out of time. Come on. Wait! I am not your enemy. I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. I am Jarek, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. What's going on? Where were you going? Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. We can survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. You work for Valen. Why would you help us? Mutual survival. Valen's power has driven the beasts and keepers mad. Protect me from them, and I will guide you to shelter. Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. What is this place? The Immortal Emperor's Vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. I cannot protect you from what lies inside. Sounds like you don't want me learning your secrets. All the more reason to enter.
but what? I can't hear you. You're fading. Was that Valkurian? He tried to tell me something, but then he disappeared. Enjoy it while it lasts. I imagine he'll be back soon enough. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. This vault has to have some kind of backup system to restore power. There is. You must reactivate the power generator. But do be careful. Valkorian sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Talking about Valkorian. Valkorian, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Emperor of the Sith. My low born son has worn many masks. I am Lord Dramath. A thousand years ago, I ruled this planet when it was a vibrant world named Madrias. I never thought of Valkorian as having a father. One of many offspring I sired. He was the least of my children, his mother a nameless peasant. But he murdered me, imprisoned my spirit, and turned Madrias into this. You said this was once a lush and vibrant world. What happened? He lured many Sith Lords here before consuming them in a dark ritual that wiped out all life on the planet. He did something similar on Zyost. His hunger for immortality must constantly be fed. Why didn't he consume your spirit? For a thousand years he has taunted and tortured me. But now, salvation is at hand. This Holocron has the power to destroy what remains of my essence. Grant me the release of Oblivion. You'd better be offering something worth the trouble. I know Tenebrae's weakness. This Holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. Maybe I can turn the tables on Valkorion. Imprison him inside the Holocron and harness his power. He has taken steps to guard against capture, but this Holocron is still the weapon he fears most. There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then, release me from my prison. Keep the Holocron close and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Lana's right. We need every available weapon to defeat Valkorion, including you. Oh, release me, I beg of you! That explains Valkorion's behavior. He didn't want you snooping around in his vault. Hold on to the Holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. I've got a bad feeling. 
feeling about this. Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Did you find what you were looking for, Empress? You tell me. I have never seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of your former prison? To leave orbit. Soon there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. You need to hold tense, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside. Stronger than ever. She'll still die when I run my lightsaber through her. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Are you scared? You should be. Your mind games are nothing to me, Outlander. But do not lose focus on what matters. Valen must be stopped. That's only step one. Step two is getting you out of my head. Be careful what you wish for, lest you get it. Valence long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? We can figure out a strategy once we're back on Odessa. Wouldn't mind a bit of R&R &R first. Or at least a nice long nap in my own bed. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessa is under attack. Like Valen sent her entire fleet. Where's the gravestone? Odessan? I need a status report now. Valen caught us with our britches down. Still installing the new upgrades. Gonna take a few minutes before we're in the air. 
Ground forces are holding the line until the gravestone's up. But we're outnumbered and outgunned. A full-scale invasion is a desperate move. But if it works, she can wipe out the Alliance in one fell swoop. Unless we beat her. You and Lana can lead the charge. I'll do more damage if I slip behind enemy lines. I specifically ordered this battle to end quickly. The Alliance is showing unexpected resistance. We still have the advantage, but the price of victory will be high. Then pay it! The Outlander and Father are here. I will paint Odessin with their blood. Status update. Mando reinforcements heading Baywan's way. Baywan's forces were protecting the ship. What happened? They're still holding, but they need all the help they can get. Master Hinks and I sought to defend the Gravestone. And the artillery slowed our progress. I got this. Ogarab gave me some toys to take out their big guns. Better there than the front lines. But at least this way you're not completely useless. When those artillery guns are fried, you'll thank me. If we hit the enemy forces from behind, we buy the gravestone some time. They're swarming me. I need more time. I'm on it. Got the gravestone in my sights. Secure, Commander. For now. Another wave incoming! Darren, can you hold your position? Not for long. Gonna need some reinforcements. We can't lose the Gravestone. We're on our way. Thanks for joining the party. Guess I sent out more invitations than I could handle. Next time, let me see the guest list. Yeah, I have terrible taste in friends. Present company excluded. Walkers coming our way. Too many.
If the Eternal Fleet thought the Gravestone was trouble before, they're in for a nasty surprise. We're still badly outnumbered. Let me see if I can change that. The Gravestone alone won't be enough to turn the battle. Valen's gunning for you personally, Commander. Maybe if you show up, it'll draw her down to the surface. If she dares to come to the surface, I'll make sure she's buried here. Don't underestimate her. Valen's even stronger than the last time you faced her. Theron and I will go with you. Hopefully we can distract her and get you close enough to end this. Before she ends us. about you. I've been up and down the battlefield looking for you. I can't believe you're cowering on a ship. I hide from no one. Now that I've broken Father's chains, I could crush you in a second. But that's too easy. I will chew up your friends and grind your precious alliance into paste. When I finally hunt you down, you will beg me to end your suffering. Valkorion's all the remains of your family. If you want revenge, come and claim it. With pleasure. My daughter has taken your bay. Better clear out some of these enemy troops before Valen shows up. Valen will be here soon. I want status updates. Fried those artillery guns as promised. I guess they weren't happy about it. They kinda got me pinned down. I'm gonna need a little help. That's not the only one in trouble. Enemy ambush cut us off. I'm the only one left. Position's about to be overrun. Yeah, well, I've got about two minutes before they squash me like a bug. Even you cannot save everyone, Outlander. By choosing who shall live, you also choose who shall die. Be ready for that burden. Dorian, we're coming your way. Thank you. I'll hold my ground until you arrive. Wait, you're just... abandoning me? This is war, Vet. A Mandalorian soldier is just a more valuable resource. That's all I am to you. A resource? Well, at least I know where I stand. Let's move. Torian needs our help. found me. Nobody is strong enough to stop me. Remember that. You make it hard to forget. Vet? Vet, do you copy? We're coming for you next. Wrong again, Outlander. I found your little tweet. Now she's all mine. 
You think holding her hostage is going to stop me from coming after you? No. I'm hoping it will bring you to me. <laughs> you got what you wanted. I'm on Odessin. Now let's end this. I've been waiting far too long to kill you. So eager. I've broken father's chains. And now I'm going to break you. I'm sending you a location. We meet there. <laughs> I just slow you down. I'll wait here. Drive Valen and her troops off our world. I was getting restless. I was about to amuse myself by snapping your little friend's spine. Do me a favor, Commander. Turn this psycho into Bantha fodder. <gasps> 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 Let me speak to father. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Pathetic. Those words no longer have any power over me. What did father ever see in you? Did he really think you could steal my throne? You are not worthy of the throne. You are not fit to rule the Eternal Empire. I'm more deserving than your new puppet. <laughs> he can't even protect his own people. You really think killing some helpless underling has any effect on me? No. But killing you will have an effect on them. There's only one way to stop Valen. You know what you must do. Even Valkorion is too scared to face me, now that my chains are broken. But we're not. Any last words before I end your miserable life? I'm done talking. save you now. Well. This is over. Even now, my daughter is a threat. Oh, Father, you know me so well. Someone like me. Lines have broken. It's a rout. 
They're surrendering by the thousands. Without Valen to drive them, her troops will have no will to fight. We did it. We won. Not yet. This doesn't end until I'm sitting on the Eternal Throne. I still can't believe Vet's gone. We lost many lives defending Odessa. And they all gave their lives for you. The least we can do is honor their memories. We need to talk about Valen's death. Her life force flowed into you when you struck her down, just like Arkans. Valen was weak. She didn't deserve her power, so I took it. That's all that matters. Perhaps, but I don't trust Valkorion. I fear he's still plotting something. Be careful. Commander, urgent distress call coming in from Empress Asina. Drummond Cass is under attack. The Eternal Fleet is bombing us from orbit. We won't abandon an ally. I'm sending our fleet, Empress, with the Greystone at its head. It's not just the Sith who are under attack, Commander. I'm picking up urgent distress signals from Coruscant and the other core worlds. We know Valen didn't order this. The Gemini captains must have gone rogue. There's more. Emergency calls coming in from Zakul. The Eternal Fleet set up a blockade. They're bombing them into oblivion. None of this affects us. Let the Eternal Fleet wipe out our enemies, then we clean up the mess. You cannot ignore this. The Eternal Throne sits empty, leaderless. The fleet has reverted to its most primal function, extermination. Unchecked, they will destroy all life in the galaxy. There is only one way to stop them. Claim the Eternal Throne and seize your destiny. Ready to Gravestone. We're going to Zakul. What's wrong? I had another nightmare. I was about to take the throne, but Valen was there, waiting for me. She's gone now. It's her father we should worry about. Whatever he pulls, I'll be ready. Did you bring the holocron? I've been studying it since we escaped Mathema. The relic's function remains a mystery, but its power is undeniable. If it can protect you from Valkyrian... Do you actually believe that dusty trinket can harm me? I think it scares you for a reason. My only fear is that you will lose sight of our goal. Seek the Eternal Throne. We have sacrificed too much to turn on each other now. I... I felt his presence. How can you stand it? I once hosted a menagerie of spirits in my head. Valkorion is similar, if more vocal. Your mental defenses are truly impressive. Commander, you're needed on the bridge. Your crew's ready. It's time.
At last. The time has come to take the Eternal Throne. Empress Valen has fallen. In her absence, the Eternal Fleet rampages across known space, threatening to wipe out all life in the galaxy. There's only one way to stop them. We must seize the throne. Problem is, those warships are blockading Zakul and bombing the city to rubble. The fleet will stop at nothing to protect the throne. No ship can break their blockade, not even to flee for safety. This ship's fortified with upgrades from Iocath. If any vessel can punch through, we can. I'll reroute some juice to our shields and cross all my fingers. Then it's settled. When do we reach the cool? Now. Never. Break that blockade. Commander, if anything happens to me, it was worth every moment I've spent with you. I love you, Lana. You taste of adrenaline. It suits you. Hey, lovebirds. Skate pod's waiting. Zakul, here we come. Someone needs target practice. Bullseye. Indozal reporting for duty. Full of vigor and raring to serve the Alliance. Oh, that rat shot may have dislocated my shoulder. I don't care if your arm's hanging on by a thread. I need your reverence. Now. I'm afraid it's language like that which turned them sour on you. They were shouting awful things. Something about the Outlander using them as cannon fodder and plans to blast you into a million pieces. I'm going to fit your backstabbing friends with shock collars and pick up where Valen left off. A just punishment. But first, you really must watch the skies for incoming explosives. They're beginning the attack. May I Bella save you, Outlander?
spy, sired by Republic heroes. Do they truly serve you, or do they plot your downfall to claim the throne for their respective factions? Lana and Theron gave up everything to build the Alliance. They won't turn against me now. We shall see. throne. You're about to witness the end of the Eternal Empire, and the beginning of my glorious reign. It's about time. May the Force serve you, Commander. Stop firing. You did it, Commander. Well done. After years of strife, you have become Emperor of Zakul, Commander of the Fleet, and heir to the Eternal Throne. Kneel before me, Valkorion. It is you. Now I take your body as my own. 
and rule once more as the immortal Emperor. I'm going to enjoy destroying you, Valkorion. Silence. Wake up. Wake up. What happened? You're the Alliance Commander. Before that, Force Walker and member of the Dark Council. You wear Valkorion skin, but you're the same person you always were. There must be a way to regain control and get out of wherever here is. Valkorion shattered your mind and tossed you into the abyss of your psyche. He thinks you're dead, but you survived by assuming his form. Find the Holocron. Save yourself. Take the Holocron. Save yourself. Commander's alive. Valkorion's taken hold of his mind, but he's fighting back. Incoming! My head's not a halfway house for a mortal city, but I guess you found that out the hard way. An oversight I will not repeat. When you struck down my children, I consumed their essence. Their spirits are now mine. Release us, father. Or I'll chuck you into little pieces. Submit, my children. As you wish. I knew you were up to something the second I absorbed Arkham's spirit. Yet you still played right into my hands. I have one last surprise. Telegram. Father. Your mother should have obeyed my orders and drowned you when she had the chance. I ended mother's suffering long ago, but your torment is just beginning. Your boy caged you for millennia. Take your revenge. Through Tenebrae's death, I will earn my freedom. I killed you once, father. Now, my offspring will share the pleasure. Annihilate them!
join me in death! We fight together, we die together. Now you're talking. Would you truly side with the Outlander who killed you and your mother? The Outlander didn't kill us. You did. Help father's poverty if you want, brother. I'm not so forgiving. You killed Mother with Abby. Thanks to you, I'll never get to crush the life on her for your body. Your mother died knowing she failed her empire and her family. Did she scream? Endlessly. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you squirm, Father. You have won over my children. Now you will all be consumed by eternity! You really think you can face the full power of the Eternal Emperor? <laughs> I am the 
the immortal Emperor. You cannot defeat me. The end's almost here. What do you have to say, Lucid? Before I graced you in my presence, you were nothing but moats of filth drowning in the chaos of the void. And you, a lone Sith, bloated with power. I forged you into a being worthy of the Eternal Throne. Without me, you are nothing. Thus ends the reign of the Immortal Emperor. You did it. You defeated Valkorion, once and for all. Valkorion's risen from the grave more times than I can count. Are we sure he won't return again? For the first time in my life, I can't feel his presence. We will never see him again. I'm sure of it. This calls for a celebration, but first, speeches. I've opened a system-wide hollow channel. The galaxy's ready to meet the new Emperor. They will bow to me before the day's over. People of the galaxy, the Eternal Empire has been crushed. Its fleet now answers to me. From this day forward, Zakul will surrender to Alliance control, and no one will speak the name Valkorion ever again. You suffered the Eternal Fleet's rage, watched cities fall, friends die. In time, these wounds will heal. But the fleet is now mine. You must never forget its strength and the fate that awaits anyone who challenges me. I am your Emperor, conqueror of Zakul and destroyer of the Eternal Empire. Under my rule, we begin a new era in galactic history. The Age of the Eternal Alliance. in the party. Funny, I thought you passed out on the dance floor. I got a second win. Let me guess. You saw the intelligence reports. The Republic's preparing for war. And the Sith Empire's not far behind. So much for our friendly pact with Asina. The Eternal Alliance is only hours old, but already I sense dark forces massing against us. Uprising, sparking across the galaxy. We will defeat them. Tomorrow. Tonight we celebrate.